Here's a situation. You have multiple subdomains and you want to track them separately in Google Analytics. This means that if a visitor goes from one subdomain to another, you would like to see the first subdomain as a traffic source in the second subdomain's reports. If that is what you want to achieve, then this video is exactly for you. I have done various experiments and the one setup that is the most reliable is this one. So here's the plan that we are going to do. If the visitor goes from one subdomain to another subdomain, then on that second subdomain, we will override the campaign medium and campaign source parameters. And the value of the campaign source will be the host name of the previous subdomain, and then campaign medium will be referral. If the visitor browses from one page to another page, and those pages belong to the same domain, then we will not do anything. And if the visitor comes to your site from a third party website, we will also not do anything. But before we build this logic where we will be overriding campaign medium and campaign source, here are several things that you should do first. We'll start with having two separate properties because the goal of this particular video is that for each subdomain, you will have a separate property. And then when the visitor goes from one subdomain to another, the data will be separated, which means that whatever happens on this subdomain does not impact what happens here, except of course, the referral data. In this case, the installation of Google Analytics 4 depends on your needs. For example, you can have two separate Google Tag Manager containers, one here, one here, and then each container would have a separate Google Analytics 4 property installed, which means that the measurement IDs will also be different. But what you also need to understand is that Google Analytics will treat the same person on both websites as different users. Anyway, in a nutshell, let's say that I have a Google Tag Manager container, which is installed on one subdomain. And here I have Google Analytics Google Tag, which sends data to this measurement ID. And then on the next subdomain, I could have, for example, a different Google Tag Manager container with a different ID. Technically, you could also use the same Google Tag Manager container, but then you would need to handle the triggers more precisely, where one Google Tag fires only on one domain, and the other tag fires on a different domain. And when I say domain, in this case, I mean subdomains. Then another thing that you must check is that you have not entered your domain in the configure your domains section. So you should go to the admin panel of both your Google Analytics 4 properties. If you're dealing with five subdomains, then it means five properties. And then here you should click data streams in the admin panel, then click your website data stream, then configure tag settings, then configure your domains, and then make sure that you don't have the main domain entered right here. So if we're dealing, let's say with www.example.com and then blog.example.com, then do not enter example.com like this. Technically, you could enter just the subdomain, for example, exactly matches and then like this, it will work, but do not enter the main domain with contains. Or you can just leave this section without any of your domains or subdomains at all, like this, and then hit save. So repeat this process across all your subdomain properties. Then you should also check the section of unwanted referrals and make sure that your domain is not included there. That can be done also in the admin panel, then data streams, select your website data stream, and then configure tag settings, select show more, list unwanted referrals, and make sure that you don't have your domain right here. And repeat the same process across all your subdomain properties. Then another tip that you should do just in case, even though it should not have direct impact, but it's still better be safe than sorry. So in each subdomain's Google tag, we could set a cookie domain and we could set it to the host name, which means that if I am on blog.example.com, then Google Analytics cookie is set only on that particular subdomain. Then on another subdomain, the cookie domain would be different. That way we will separate Google Analytics cookies. Again, I want to emphasize that this is not necessary, but we are doing this just in case. So this could be done by by going to your Google Tag Manager, then open Google Tag, and then here in the configuration settings or in shared event settings, does not matter, we can enter cookie domain, and then its value should be the page host name. If you don't have this variable, then go to built-ins and then select it. Now let me show you what happens when you do this. Click Save, then click Preview, 
then enter the URL of your website, click connect. And then here, if I open developer tools, go to application, then cookies, select my domain and then enter underscore GA. Here I will see that my cookie is set on the subdomain and it will also be accessible on all subdomains of this subdomain. However, if I was working between multiple subdomains like GTM course, my Shopify.com, then GTM course to my Shopify.com and so on, those cookies would be separated, which means that Google Analytics of one subdomain would not be able to access cookies of the different subdomain. And then the final step. Now we're going to override campaign medium and campaign source based on the refer. Below this video, we will find a link to a code. You should click that link, copy the code, then go to Google Tag Manager, then variables. And we are going to create two variables, one for campaign source and one for medium. Let's start with the source. Click new, then variable configuration, custom JavaScript, paste that code, and then let's name this CGS campaign source. So this variable will be checking the current domain, the refers domain, and if they belong to the same main domain, but the subdomains are different, then this code will return the refer host name, which means the domain of the previous page. This will be the value of the campaign source. Now in this code, there is one more thing that you might need to change. If your organization's domain looks like this, where you just have the word or whatever, and then dot something, then you don't need to change anything else in that code. But if your domain is longer, for example, dot co dot UK or dot co dot NZ or Japanese domain or something like that, where we have dot something dot something, but the domain is right here, I mean the domain name. In that case, you should change from minus two to minus three. Otherwise, the comparison comparison of domains and subdomains will not be very accurate. But in my case, the domain is just .com. So I will keep as minus two right here. So click Save. Then let's make a copy of this variable. And we will adapt it to campaign medium, let's rename it. And then here, as the comment implies, we should just change this to quotes, referral, and then close with quotes. Because in this case, if the subdomain of the refer is different, but it belongs to the same domain, then the value of the campaign medium should be just the word referral. In all other cases, it should be undefined, then click Save. The final step is to go to tags, then open your Google tag, and then set campaign source and campaign medium, then as variables, set those JavaScript variables that we just created, and then click Save. By the way, it's worth mentioning that the same idea could be implemented with server side tagging, instead of overriding campaign medium and campaign source in the web container, you could use for example, transformation in the server container and then modify the values there. But I thought that this would go out of scope of this video because the idea here is just to show you the concept that you can overwrite campaign source and campaign medium in order to see the traffic sources of your subdomains. So what we did right here should be done in all your subdomains. If you have multiple Google Tag Manager containers separated for each subdomain, repeat the same process in all those subdomains. The testing process here is not very convenient, but the easiest to show on video would go like this. Now I would publish changes in all of the containers of all subdomains. So let me publish here, for example, then I would do the same with all other containers. If you're using multiple containers, then I would go to one domain, click a link that redirects me to another domain. And then when I'm here, I will open developer tools, go to console, then enter document refer here. First, I should see a different subdomain because first I was on this subdomain and now I'm here. So this is correct. This is not related to the code, but we are just double checking. And now if I go to network, then enter, let's say collect, if you're using 
regular Google Analytics not with server-side tagging. And then we can refresh the page, wait for the Google Analytics request to come in. Here it is. Then once you click that request, go to payload. And here you should be looking for CS and CM. CM is campaign medium, which is referral. And then CS is campaign source, which is the previous subdomain. So this is very important. When you go from one subdomain to another subdomain, you must see these two parameters with correct values. In all other cases, you should not see CS and CM. For example, here I have opened a Google search with any random keyword, then I will just do the right click inspect. And instead of that URL, I will use my own subdomain. And then when I click that link, it opens my subdomain, then I check the document refer, it says Google, and now I go to network, then reload the page to get a new Google Analytics request. And when I click here, I no longer see those two parameters, which are CS and CM. And if, for example, your URL contains some UTM parameters, Google Analytics would still catch them because they would be in the document location parameter. And since there are no campaign medium and campaign source parameters set anywhere right here, then Google Analytics will just properly use the refer information or UTM parameters if they are available in the document location. And that is how you can see subdomains as traffic sources in Google Analytics 4 reports. Basically, you should use separate GA4 properties for each subdomain and then override campaign medium and source. If you found this video useful, hit the like button. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.